Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I uh, just wanted to demonstrate how to make a sundial in case you're out and you don't uh, you don't have a clock. Now this template right here you can download and I'll include the link within this video's description. But I downloaded it from uh, from NASA. So it ought to be somewhat accurate, even though I did spot a spelling error already. Yeah, let's see, where was it? It says match the tabs. It should have been tabs. Anyway, okay, so step one is to cut out your gnomon shown to the left. And I had to draw in there because my printer kind of messed up. But you'll see when you get the, uh, when you get your own copy what you need to do with it. Step two is to cut the three dotted lines at the end of the nomon. Hmm. Okay, I think I already did that. Oh, I see what it's saying. I need to cut these because... Because that's what's going to make it stand up. Okay, the next step is to cut along the dotted line on each side of the sun dial, dial but don't cut all the way. No, okay, so... Okay, so it says fold the remaining dashed line, so that'll be this, and that there. Fold each ramp side along the line which is closest to your latitude. It says you can look this up on your webpage, so let's see, I'm in Columbus, Georgia, so the latitude there is 32.4. So 32.4 latitude is going to be roughly right in there somewhere. Okay, so I need to fold this in.
and then we said 32.4 so let's see we'll just kind of roughly do it right around there Tape the folded ramps on the back side so the ramp is vertical. So those, you can tape those down. I didn't tape it because I don't have tape. Um, depending on time of the year, you can tape the Nomon on different sides of the sundial face. If it's spraying Equinox, you tape it on the numbered side. If it is after fall Equinox, you tape it on the back of the unnumbered side. Okay, so this is spraying Equinox. So I would tape it uh, on the numbered side. Okay, and it says aim your sundial north. So let's see, we need to fold this down. And then we would tape that down there, and you would aim it north, and you would uh, you would be able to tell what time it is using the sundial. Now this is just a uh, one of many examples of sundials, and I, I use this one because it, there's a template to download from NASA. But you may be better off if you make your own uh, make your own sundial. I mean, this was pretty. Uh, Pretty straightforward yet confusing. And obviously I'm not outside, so we're not gonna be able to test it, but that's that's your basic sundial. So if you don't have a uh, if you don't have a clock and you need to know what time it is outside in the daylight, sundial is a really good way to do that. And thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, I encourage you to do so. It's youtube.com forward slash irixguy. And the template that I used, uh, as I previously mentioned, I got it from NASA. And I've included a link within this video's description where you can download this kit. And uh, if you want to use this to make your own sundial, it's, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.